Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. This is your February tarot forecast. It's going to be your typical four card spread looking at the overall energy for you for the month. Challenges or obstacles that might be coming in for you because we are dealing with Aquarius for most of the month of February. There's also going to be a card in here looking at where we need to tap into a little bit of that air energy and think about some things, think some things through. And as always, a quick little soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from this spread, okay? Um, before I get started with your reading, this is a general reading. If you feel like what I'm saying is not resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I will have linked down below in the description box. In the description box, there's hella other links that I'd like you guys to check out. We are in a new month, so check out the February pick a card forecast. Uh, we started the month with a Leo full moon a couple of days before going into it. So check out that video. The Aquarius new moon will go up during this month as well. We are also now in the first Mercury retrograde of the year. So check out that Mercury retrograde and Aquarius video. And I don't know what else is down there, but click on them links and go watch them videos. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. This video is for Sagittarius, Sag Sun, Sag Moon, and Sag Rising. Let's go on and get into your messages. The first card that you guys have coming up in your spread is in the position of the overall energy for you for the month of February. And you guys have the Crystal Keys card. And so <laughs> there's a couple of things here with this card, but first I'm going to speak to the actual message to the card and then I'll get into the numerology of it. So you have the Crystal Keys card and what this card speaks to are um, Lumerian crystals. So for those of you guys that don't know what those are, these are crystals that were embedded in the earth by ancient Lemurian civilians, <laughs> you know, ancient Lemurian peoples, beings. And um, they were embedded in the earth during a time when the civilization was getting ready to fall. And these beings, they took these quartz crystals and they etched these wisdom codes into the sides of the crystals and put them in the earth and they planted them one by one. They're called seed crystals because you, you find them, they're, they're not a part of a, a bigger crystal cluster like you would uh, typically find quartz. So these seed crystals, they're placed in the earth. They've got these wisdom codes on them. If you've ever seen a piece of Lumerian quartz, or if you own any Lumerian quartz, you know, sometimes you can't see the ridges, um, but most of these pieces, you can actually see the ridges on the side of the quartz and you can feel it and you're supposed to like, rub it while you meditate and you're supposed to download information things of that sort but these crystal keys were placed in the earth to prevent future civilizations from making the same mistakes that's the wisdom on the keys okay and so the crystal keys card popping up for you sag here in this particular spread for the month of february the, the message that i am getting for you guys is that you're in a space to where things are supposed to look how you want them to look. They're supposed to be going how you want them to go. And while it may appear like that at the surface, February is a month in which you might be experiencing some triggers. And remember that the Lumerians put these crystals in the earth because some things were going on and they wanted to prevent these things from happening. So you've got crystal keys popping up in your overall energy, which tells me that February might be a quite triggering month for you, Sag. And y'all know I keep my readings very real. If you don't like the real, go on and watch your moon or rising sign. Link down below in the description box. But if you like the real, stick around. Um, we're in a retrograde season. We're in the first retrograde of the year and it's in an air sign. So it's a it's a retrograde in which our, our minds are very much so involved. Okay. And so we've got a lot of thoughts swirling around. A lot of things that we're thinking about. A lot of old shit popping up in our heads and, and possibly in the physical too. For you guys, what I get is by way of this retrograde and that reflect and correct energy, there are either instances or thoughts or certain things that trigger memories for you. Um, and these memories are associated with your shadow side. So this could either be, you know, childhood traumas. This could be, you know, things that you've been trying to work on, bad habits, things of that sort. Anything along those lines, I feel that there are certain triggers popping up for you in the month of February. However, you've got the Crystal Keys card, okay? And the Crystal Keys card has the number 22 as well. So you got Master Number Energy coming in with you this month as well. 
Master number 22 is the master builder. When we're talking about master builder number, we're talking about gaining all of the knowledge that we need to build upon the foundations that we're trying to, to see turn into these great big pillars. So Sag, for the month of February for you guys, although you will be triggered, the reason that these triggers are popping up and it's all in divine timing, they're popping up, especially specifically during a retrograde season, because this is a time for you to actually look at why these things still trigger you. Why are you so affected when you see a certain type of shirt when you go into the mall? You know what I'm saying? Why are you so bothered when you smell that certain smell? Why do you feel sad when you hear this song and you know it's not a sad song? During the month of February, Sag, be thinking about the things. When you become emotionally triggered and you have these emotional reactions, try to take a moment in these, in these spaces and stop and say, okay, actually, why am I so upset? Why am I crying? Why do I feel so down? Why do I feel so heavy? Acknowledge it. And you've got master builder number here. So you figure it out and then you build upon it because you got the crystal keys. You have the knowledge. Once you once you acknowledge what the problem, quote unquote, what the problem is, this card is saying that you actually have the knowledge and the tools to heal yourself and to also work through those energies and release those energies if need be. Next card in your spread, Sag, is the Fool. And I don't really like it coming up in the crossing position. I like the Fool card, but it is in your crossing position. So this does, the message that I get with the Fool crossing these crystal keys, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is that you're in a space to where you want your life to look a certain way. You're like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is how it needs to be. This is how much money I'm supposed to have. This is the career I'm supposed to have. This is the type of partner I'm supposed to have. This is the car I'm supposed to be driving, the type of house I'm supposed to be living in, so on and so forth etc abc xyz right this full card being in the crossing position does tell me that while you are in these spaces in your head and you're like nah this is what my life is supposed to be looking like even though some of that may be transpiring i pick up that there still feels like a bit of a disconnect and for some reason sad you probably don't feel like you know how to place it you're like i don't know what it is but i feel it this full card and that disconnected feeling and that feeling of like things are not lining up how they're supposed to or they're not as big as they're supposed to be or they're not as successful as they're supposed to be is because of this crystal keys card you have things that are actually still holding you back that you've probably buried deep deep down and for whatever reason during the month of february they certain things are triggering those things that you've buried and there's no way for you to move forward unless you tackle them unless you figure out what it is that's bothering you and how to work through it and how to get yourself happy and how to get yourself whole. And this is not to say that you're not happy and whole now, but understand when we have things stemming from our past that we don't necessarily work through, that we sort of kind of just accept as, oh, that's just the way that life was and that's just what it is. Oftentimes, well into adulthood, they start to pop up and they start to fuck shit up. So Sag, when these triggers pop up, you need to tackle them and you need to make sure that you are acknowledging them and that you were you are sure as to why they bother you so much and how they're bothering you. And then you figure out what you need to do to go on and work through them, okay? Because the full energy is your crossing energy. You actually want this to be a card in the upright position so that you can go on and take the leap of faith into these opportunities that these crystal keys are going to help present to you. Next card in your spread side is in the position of where you need to tap into the energy that we are currently working with right now, which is Aquarius and get innovative, change your mind, come up with some new ideas. Y'all got one of my all shit cards here. You got the five of wands. This is actually not one of the worst ones, but um, with this crystal keys card and this full cross energy, I will say that the five of wands might be throwing you for a loop here in retrograde season. Um, where you need to change your mind, get creative, get some new ideas going, do things a little bit differently. The five of wands, when it pops up, this is this is the doing too much card you got your hands in too many pots and pans and you doing too much your energy is spread a little too thin and for some reason sad you thinking that you can just keep going like this you can't i'll keep it very real with you you will burn yourself out and <laughs> please do everybody a favor and don't burn yourself out during a retrograde season that's like one of the worst times to do that um the five of wands here and how you need to shift some things around how you need to make some changes Sagittarius you need to be thinking about what you're putting your energy into and you need to be thinking about what type of priority 
status is attached to it. Everything that you're doing right now is not important. Everything that you're doing right now, you actually don't need to be doing. Some of the things that you're doing right now, you shouldn't be doing. Mm-hmm. Yep, Sag. Yeah, that, that, that's a message for somebody. So with this Five of Wands card, this tells me that you need to take a moment and think about all of the things that you have your energy in, all of the things that you have your cords of attachment latched on to, and then think about, well, what's important? What do I really need to be doing? What of this stuff is just extra? And it is up to you how you decide that. I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to be like, oh, we'll go with the fun things. Oh, we'll go with the things that seem like they're the hardest to do. Nope. Sad, you have to come to a space and to a place, Crystal Keys, in which you realize what is important to me right now? What is important to me in the month of February? What do I need to stop doing in the month of February? Because it's taking too much energy. Because it's taking too much time. Because what I'm putting in, I'm not seeing results for. And I've been putting in for, for quite some time. Five of Wands, doing too damn much, Sagittarius. So you need to chill out <laughs> in the month of February. And let go of some of them wands, okay? This is a fire energy too. So it's like just too much moving and shaking and rolling happening here. And you need to take a little bit of a breather because you've got other things that actually need your attention right now. And these things need your attention so that you can progress and so that you can elevate. Last card I have in your spread, Sag, is in the position of your soul message. And you've got the seventh house. And so the typical association with the seventh house is partnerships and marriage and friendships, which is which is true. However, there is also an association with the seventh house of society, societal expectations. And that is the energy that I more so pick up here for you guys. Um, I get with this five of wands card that the only reason that y'all are doing too damn much is because you think you're supposed to be. And that can be by way of either, you know, pressure that you put on yourself. This could be by way of external influences like your parents, your kids, your family members, your friends. But I just get this sense or, or by literally by way of society. I just get this sense that Sag, you're doing all this stuff because you feel like it has to be done. Like you feel like you are the person that has to do it because this is the way that life goes. Y'all are Sagittarians. You, what? That sounds like conformity. And that is not a word in y'all's vocabulary. So do away with that. Everything, everything that you thought of when I said societal expectations in regards to your personal life unless it is imperative and, and really important to you and one of the wands that you should be putting your energy into, do away with that shit. Listen, we are in some different and strange times and the way that things were working before 2020, I can tell you now, we're not looking at going back to that. So all of this, oh, I got to make so-and-so proud. I got to get this degree. I got to have this type of job. I got to have this much money in my bank. I can't eat here i can't make alfredo i can't go out and shop at ross like get rid of all of that shit because it's not important whatever everybody else in the world expects of you that's not important right now because what you're supposed to be focusing on is releasing the things that are still holding you back from progressing so don't worry about what society says you need to be doing right now because society don't know what the hell is going on right now. If you look at the news, they don't know what <laughs> they don't know what they're telling us. So how are they going to tell you to do anything? Why would you even be listening to them right now? You know what I'm saying? Do your own thing, Sag, and do the things that are important to you and do the things that need your energy right now. And right now in the month of February, that is your healing. So get to it. And that's your spread. I hope it found you well. If you feel like you like your own personal reading, feel free to book one with me. I have my Etsy shop linked down below. There are several different tarot spreads that you can choose from on there. Just go to the Etsy shop and then in the, uh, I think in the filters space or like the search bar, there's a drop down menu and just click tarot that will pull up all of my tarot readings. I also have a tarot reading for this new year. I've got two different versions. If you want to know what's going on for this calendar year go on and book one of those as well um and i think that's all that i've got for you guys i think that's all i got for you i dropped all of my shameless plugs at the beginning so yeah that's it thank you guys for tuning in i will catch y'all next time peace